Welcome to a day in the life of a programmer. If you're considering working with programming or you're curious about what programmers actually do, then great, because I'm gonna show you exactly what a day in the life of me looks like as a programmer working from home. So to start with, I wake up around about whenever I want, and I'm very disciplined about this. On this particular day though, it was um, in the morning sometime. Next, I will usually check the weather forecast and uh, it looks like it's gonna snow today. And this is so typical Sweden. The past week has been clear blue skies and sunny and it truly felt like spring was just around the corner. And today I wake up to this. Anywho, after this, I will pour myself a drink. Hemingway called this writer's fuel. I like to call it programmer's fuel. You probably call it water. It's water. I actually always drink one liter or so of water in the morning upon waking up just to rehydrate my body after the night of sleep. Then I grab my phone off the charger and open up my YouTube analytics app and read through your comments. And then I check Twitter and Instagram quickly just to see what's going on there. Oh, and also that reminds me, if you don't follow me on there, then you'd be happy to hear that you should, you know, do it. Then it's time to go into my home office. And uh, yes, I'm what you would call a little OCD when it comes to organizing this space. Oh look, it's clean now. <laughs> anyway, after this, it's finally time to start programming. Let's go. Okay, so that's not what programming actually looks like. This is actually what programming looks like. In case you're wondering, yes, that is definitely Rick and Morty playing on my second monitor. And yes, I definitely want to develop an app. So yeah, programming is mostly just sitting at your desk and trying to figure out ways to do things that you don't really know how to do and also trying to fix errors which very existence should be impossible since they defy every conceivable law of the universe. But maybe I'm over dramatic. Oh look, it's 12 p.m. Time for breakfast. I've been doing this 16-8 fasting thing lately because it seems to improve my productivity mostly since I get four to five hours of uninterrupted work done in the morning since I don't need to cook food or eat. I really recommend checking it out if you're interested and the idea is that you're allowed to eat for eight hours and then you fast for 16 hours. It also tends to allow me to drop body fat slightly easier and faster than I would normally but that is probably mostly because I end up eating less since I forget to eat sometimes. Anyway, after breakfast, I brush my teeth and freshen up, and then me and my girlfriend decided to go for a walk in the nice weather. I like to take the opportunity to go for walks out in nature as often as I can. I really enjoy being outside in nature, and I feel like walks like these really allow me to stay more focused and energetic throughout the rest of my workday. A true assassin can hide anywhere. It also gives me the opportunity to have a play in the snow. After I got home, I spent the rest of the afternoon programming, and this time working on a bot that will help me cheat in Fortnite. Video on that coming soon. So, you know, subscribe. Then me and my girlfriend made some dinner. I got to practice my knife skills, even though, as you can tell, they're already pretty sick. We then ate this in front of the TV while watching a reality show that we recently found about the New York police. Are those phone tasks? What the hell's going? I thought they'd make good from Freddy. Why? Okay, so this next part is almost awkward to bring up because it's pretty much become a cliche at this point. But either way, Every night after having brushed my teeth and before going to bed, I will sit down and meditate for 10 minutes using an app called Headspace. It's become part of my nighttime routine and I genuinely enjoy it and I highly recommend it. 
I think it's one of the best habits that I've built in my life. And in the past few weeks, I've actually added another habit on top of this, which is reading. So every night I will first meditate for 10 minutes and then I will go to bed and read for another 10 to 20 minutes. So my best advice for creating new habits is to use habit hooking, a term I just made up. But essentially, I hook habits onto each other. So brushing my teeth at night is a habit. So I simply decided to try to add meditation into that habit. And now reading has been added as well to that. Each habit hooks onto another habit and creates a chain of habits that are hard to break. Anyway, that is a day in the life of me as a programmer working from home. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.